and welcome to another instance of Ask Away Wednesday, where Chris and I uh, answer some of your top questions around data security and data governance. Uh, today's question comes uh, in a, from a pure data security lens, and it's a question that we get asked uh, very frequently, uh, and that is, what is the difference between tokenization, data tokenization, and format preserving encryption, or FPE, and maybe specifically as it relates to, to Snowflake, Chris? Yep. So uh, one of the interesting things is it really depends on who in the industry you ask uh, about tokenization. There are certain people who believe tokenization is the same as one-way hashing. That is not, um, you know, our opinion or really the broad opinion of any security expert. Um, tokenization uh, is when you take the data out of its resting place um, and do something with it to protect it, such that what's replaced in the resting place of the data is not. Uh, in any way correlated back to the plain text. So there's no cryptography, there's no PhD in the world or any supercomputer in the world that's going to take what's in the place of that plain text and turn it back into that plain text. Format preserving encryption um, is a is a it's actually a NIST NIST standard um, for um, encrypting data using a, a key and something called a tweak, right? Just general key material if you're familiar with cryptography. Um, and applying that key and tweak through a formula and getting back out um, ciphertext. And that ciphertext goes to rest in the data's resting place, you know, if you're using Snowflake in your base tables or whatever. Um, and so in that case, the data really technically it's still there. It's just when you're not, when you don't have access to get the plain text, you don't have the key. And so what you get is the ciphertext, which looks and feels like the plain text, but it's not. But you can apply math and cryptography and other things to get that plain text back. So that's the uh, that's the tokenization versus FPE landscape. And I think it's also important to kind of denote that there's there's different performance uh, metrics associated with each. So it, it's important to kind of think about what your performance requirements are. Um, there are certainly PCI uh, you know type of requirements and restrictions that that might take you down a tokenization path versus a format preserving encryption path. Um, so uh, reach out, ask questions. Uh, as 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 everything, it's all about your use cases uh, and having the flexibility and the and the optionality to to choose one or the other um, is what is what is actually valuable. So look at your use cases uh, and then map them back to uh, to the solution there. Uh, okay, hopefully that helped uh, folks out there. Thank you very much uh, for the questions. Please uh, continue to send them in. Uh, we hope this was a helpful time. We'll see you next one. Thank you.